All right, folks, it's Wednesday, and that means we are back with another weekly challenge episode. And we, in a non-Bass 10 match point tournament, we actually are blessed with this very, very good hand here. 18 points. Uh, we're not going to read anything weird. We're going to open a heart, and our desire is to rebid to no Trump or something else, depending on what partner does. Uh, here it goes, a heart, a spade, pass, pass back to us. And let's see what the robot's going to think these bids are. Uh, one no Trump here would, in fact, be 1819. And and the reason it only has to be one is because of what we've already seen, right? We've seen partner pass at one level opening bid, essentially. Now, the opponent's bid is spade in between them, so it's not quite different. But here we have lots of other ways to enter this auction again. One of them being double, another one just being rebidding our suit, which would all be less values. Here, one no trump opposite partner not showing anything for the robot, at least, is going to be 18-19 bounds. So that's what we're going to do. And looks like three clubs. Interesting. Okay, forcing the 3-0. No. Looks like they're just making some sort of natural bid. I'm happy to play in no trump if I can get over to that dummy. And it looks... <laughs> this is interesting. It looks like I might not be able to get there too frequently uh, outside of the diamond suit. And the club suit is really not set up. Or, is not a suit that we intend to or at least are going to have a good chance to set up, unfortunately. Take a look at this, folks. Uh, make your play, folks. What, what card do you want to play from your end? It's kind of crazy here, folks. We uh, we can play the ace and recognize why we would duck. Why would we duck? Well, we duck to keep the communication disrupted between the hands. However, um, how many spades does West have here, folks? They have five, right? So so here, um, the, the communication between the hands is already disrupted. Right? Meaning, uh, right-hand opponent should be, in fact, playing their last spade. And this is the, the reason we hold up is to make sure one player doesn't have any left. Well, there's two problems to that here, folks. The, the one problem is it's very likely righty has only one spade, right? The only weird time would be if West opened or, excuse me, overcalled with only a four-card suit, which they uh, honestly have done quite frequently recently. So it's not beyond the realm of possibility. So that's one thing we'll hold in the back of our heads here. But here, most of the time here, you wouldn't have to duck. And in a realistic situation, I would never duck. Here, I'm going to just because of what we talked about with a four-card overcall. But also, maybe they switch sometimes, even though they shouldn't. They should have a perfect count. And here, we can see that they do. And we'll get confirmation now. Perfect. Now we know exactly what's going on. We also know that the moment that West gets in, they're going to take three more spades. So if we let West in, we are going to, for sure, go down. Right. So here, first things first, I'm going to see if one of the club honors is falling. If the queen or the jack fell here, I would try to fire away at clubs, but they did not. Uh, here, I'm just going to play diamonds now. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to play a diamond to the ace so I can play a heart towards my hand. So I'm going to play the eight of hearts. And this might seem weird, folks, but I'm just going to play the ten. I'm going to take a deep, deep finesse for the queen and jack of hearts. And if it wins... <laughs> If it wins and they're dividing evenly, that two things have to be here, uh, we might be able to take all of these tricks. So this did win, but that nine of hearts on my left is scary. And here we see. Okay, so so right-hand opponent at queen-jack fifth of hearts. Uh, we, we gained one extra trick in this exchange, but unfortunately that's not really going to help us too much because of all the other tricks we need to take. So let's see, where are we as far as our number of winners? Well... We've taken five already. We have the King of Hearts for six, the King of Clubs for seven, and the Ace of Diamonds for eight. Um, not looking too wonderful here. So let, let's see what we can do here. Let's play the King of Clubs first and uh, see if we see any special cards. We don't. Uh, I'm honestly just going to play for some sort of lucky circumstance here. So I'm going to cash the King of Hearts. And notice left-hand opponent is not pitching any spades, folks. They're pitching away diamonds because they can just see the writing on the wall. They're either getting in with a club, it looks like. Uh, there it is. And uh, now they're just going to run spades, and that's all she wrote. So, honestly, I think we might have done one trick better than the opponent on this hand if they had the same auction. That's the big question. Um, what would they have done over three clubs? I can't imagine them doing anything but what we did, and even if they passed three clubs. I mean, what what uh, what exactly was going to happen on that contract as well here? So here, my going minus only one might be okay. Whoa, look at this one, folks. One spade, and now this is your hand. Oh, my God. This is a wacky hand, folks. Um, 
it's worth it's worth a lot of different things. It's an eight solid eight card suit. The the hand we saw um, not today but uh, on board four I believe is what it was uh, where we preempted diamonds. Uh, we had a seven card suit and we also had like a six count here. Our hand is really strong, right? We have a 15 total point hand, but on top of that, we have four losers in our hand, right? So, so here, I don't want to just overcall diamonds. I want to power double here. I want to double and then bid diamonds naturally to show my strength, and this is what I'm showing with this. And okay, we get doubled here. I'm fine with that. Let's let's dance, folks. Look at this. We might make. We might make a lot here. All right, so check this out, folks. This is going to be kind of fun here. We I don't think we can ever make it. Uh, we can only get one pitch, and that still leaves us with three losers. But uh, let me show you what I mean by the possibility here. We're going to play the Ace of Spades. We're also going to draw a round or two of Trump. I only need to draw one. And now notice we have two entries to dummy, right? So I'm going to take one right now, the Nine of Diamonds. And I'm going to play the King of Spades, and I'm going to pitch away a heart. Now here, folks... Uh, I could play hearts for sure, and I could rough them. And I might do one of those, see if I can get the ace or the king to get played. I did not. Right, and now I'm just going to start plunking down clubs. And here, I'm destined to lose three clubs for sure. But if they do something in the interim to give me an extra trick, I'll take it. If not, we'll just go minus 100, and that will actually give us a pretty darn good score. Right. So at this point, I have nothing left to do. I can run diamonds and just run run clubs from that or play a club at the end. The opponents know exactly what's going on already, so this is not worth our time. So at this point, we will take our five diamonds down one. We'll be happy. We could have lost the first uh, four tricks on this one, so we only lost three, and that is not too shabby. So look at this session, guys. On Wednesday, we go minus 100 in both scores, but I'm not too terribly worried about either one. I feel like we maximized our chances to go only minus one on the first one, number five, and here we did even better, right? We have four losers right off the top, and we only ended up losing three because of the way they started this hand. So here we'll take it, and notice the spade contract. Let's see. They would have lost one diamond. They lose no hearts if they guess hearts correctly, which it looks like they would be able to do. And the ten of diamonds, or excuse me, the ten of hearts is falling, so that's interesting. So they should lose two spades, and that's about it. And, and a diamond, obviously. So, so they should be able to make four spades. Uh, the least they can make is three spades, right? On the worst day, if they make some mistakes, that's still more than the 100 we took for actually going down one. So here, even if they didn't get the game at some other tables, right? And here we only have one table we're dealing with, so we'll have a similar auction, I'm sure. But in a general result situation, you can be very confident that five diamonds doubled down one is pretty good. And also, think about it. What do you think they're going to be playing at other tables, folks? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very few people are going to let them play four spades when you have eight solid diamonds <laughs> in the stiff face of spades. So here, this should be pretty normal. Take a look at what we're starting with on Thursday. You're the dealer in first chair with this hand. Make your choices, folks, and we'll see if they're right tomorrow.